Let's get in Mandar Jamsundekar then of Precision Technical Analysis to talk about his top ideas as well as views on the markets. Mandar, it's a bit of a cool off owing to what's going on across the globe. What are your views on the Nifty and what would be your top trading picks? Uh, yeah, good morning, Avan. Uh, first, uh, on the Nifty, uh, today I think Nifty is consolidating and it would continue to consolidate. Uh, we need to watch levels of 7840 and 7810. So the uh, if I look at the intraday chart, then it tells me that the Nifty right now is trading in a downtrend. It's making those lower tops, lower bottoms. So quite possibly we could head down to 7840 and 7810 today. Uh, but I think uh, 7810 and uh, would be able to provide support for the Nifty. Uh, on the higher side, uh, I'm looking at a resistance at 7858 and 7860. On the intraday chart, if that's taken, then uh, uh, Nifty could head higher to 7890. So I'm expecting Nifty to trade range bound between 7890 and 7810 for today. But if I look at the uh, long to medium term chart of the Nifty, then uh, yes, I'm bullish on the Nifty because of the formations that it has done. Uh, first thing is uh, last month it's broken the one year downtrend that it was trading in then it moved to 8000 levels then it corrected down to those 7700 so normally what happens is once a resistance is broken people like to retest that resistance uh, as a support and if that happens then they validate that breakout as a, a valid one and the same thing is happening in case of nifty uh, we could get confirmation as the nifty moves higher 7890 is an immediate resistance if that's broken then we uh, nifty could head higher to 8000 uh, uh, the real action would start once 8000 is broken on the higher side and in that case nifty could also head higher to the uh, all time high levels that nifty had done recently i have so i am bullish uh, right now on the markets on, and my short term view is corrective with a bullish bias uh, i have two stocks for today the first one is glenmark pharma uh, for the last 6 months from august of 2015 glenmark traded in a downtrend uh, it came down from levels of 1250 to the lows of 671 uh, from Feb this year, the stock has been making steady gains and a higher bottom and a higher top. Uh, the stock had a resistance at 8.45. This is a level where it had faced resistance twice in the last two months. Uh, today in the intraday trade, the stock has given us a breakout above this level with good rise in volumes at it, as it crossed that level. Uh, and as the stock trades above 8.45, I think the stock uh, has made a short term uh, high suggesting that the uptrend is intact. Now 845 is going to act as a support and above this level the next resistance comes in at 877 and 950. Therefore a positional long trade in Glenmark with a stop loss at 839 for a target of 877. And the second stock that I have is Jet Airways. Uh, this stock has uh, was trading in a downtrend for the last 10 years. The so After 10 years the stock changed its trend in November 2015 when it gave us a breakout above the downtrend resistance line. And then it moved fast to levels of 800, again corrected down to, to uh, test the support levels. Uh, this is a good move because after a breakout, people like to validate, as I said, in case of Nifty, the okay. same thing applies here. So the long-term charts are positive. On the short-term chart, the stock consolidated throughout sure. April between levels of 16 and 646. Right. Yesterday, it gave us a breakout above this range and now suggests that a fresh move is starting. Therefore, a buy with a short-term perspective with a stop loss at 639 for a target of 710. Okay, that's the call coming in on Glenmark Pharma as well as Jet Airways. Thanks very much, Mandar, for taking us through those stock-specific ideas. With that, it's a wrap on Hot Stocks. Thanks for watching. We have Traders 20 coming up next.